In this homework problem, you're asked to order fractions using a number line, plot the given fractions on the number line, and use the number line to compare the numbers. Place the number negative 5 halves and 3 halves on the number line below. So first, let's look at the scaling of the number line. So it goes from negative 3 to 3. Uh, the integers are labeled, so negative 3 to negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. And now to figure out, there's tick marks. Uh, to figure out the unit fraction, we'll go to 0. Notice that from 0 to 1, it's broken into 1, 2 equal pieces. So the 1 tick mark breaks it into 2 equal pieces. So first, let's start with negative 5 halves. So we're going to start at 0. And each tick mark is uh, 1 half in the negative direction if we move this way. So we have negative 1 half, negative 2 halves, negative 3 halves, negative 4 halves, and negative 5 halves. For our second number, 3 halves, we'll start at 0 and we'll count to the right. 1 half, 2 halves, 3 halves. Okay. Now we're going to use the number line to order the numbers. Well, negative 5 halves is to the, well, it's to the left of 3 halves. This is negative 5 halves, that's 3 halves. Since it's, to the left, since it's to the left, that means that it's less than 3 halves. So to compare numbers on the number line, uh, if you're to the left of another number, you're less than it. If you're to the right of another number, you're greater than it. And now the appropriate inequality symbol. We're going to use this symbol, which is the less than symbol. The small part of the inequality symbol goes towards the smaller number, and the open part goes towards the larger number. Now we're going to be asked, for, we are going to be asked the same questions, but in reverse order. So 3 halves is to the right of negative 5 halves. 3 halves is here, there's negative 5 halves. This means 3 halves is greater than negative 5 halves. And we use this symbol. Notice again with the inequality, the open part is pointed towards the larger number.